Hello and welcome to this quick start guide to uh, World Traffic 2. In this video I'm going to talk about World Traffic installation, Bluebell aircraft installation, World Traffic setup, region enabling and disabling, ground route download and installation and random route generation. First of all download and extract World Traffic 2. Then copy the folders to explain. Classic Jet Sim Utils goes into the explain 10 root folder here. And then Classic Jet Simulations goes into the Explain 10 aircraft folder here. And the three remaining folders here goes into explain tens plugin folder here okay so now world traffic 2 has been installed if you bought world traffic 2 then you have to move your license key into the world traffic folder in plugins like this And you see the file here. Now let's install Bluebell's aircraft packs that can be downloaded from www.explain.org. You find Bluebell's aircraft under World Traffic Aircraft in the download section of World Traffic. And here you see all the packs. Go and download all of these. I've already done that here. And then extract all these aircraft packs. I'm going to just unpack one of them to show how to install. Here you see two folders, aircraft objects and aircraft types. Move these folders into the classic Jet Sim Utils World Traffic folder here. We're going to move these. Okay, so now Bluebell's aircraft are installed. Let's start up Explain and select Seattle Tacoma International as our airport. The first thing we need to do after world traffic has been installed is to configure our world traffic keys. This is done by clicking settings and joystick and equipment. Go into keys and then move to the bottom of this list. I've already configured uh, all keys but one, the track camera zoom out key. This is added by add new key assignment. Make sure the new key is highlighted and then press the key you want to assign, in our case, C. Now press this button here. And then choose Track Camera Zoom Out under the CJS and World Traffic folder. Here and press open. 
Now the C key has been assigned to track camera zoom out. Now we are still at Seattle Tacoma International Airport and uh, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that this region is enabled. This is done by pressing Ctrl and W. Go to Enable Disable Region. KSEA is green meaning enabled. Now press backspace to go back and choose Resync to restart traffic or press Ctrl R. Now exit the menu with backspace and let's check traffic around KSEA with the world traffic radar from the menu. Let's choose KSEA and press select airport. And as you can see here, there's lots of air traffic around KSEA. Traffic can be viewed with the track camera, like this. So now World Traffic 2 has been uh, successfully installed. And now we can download and install ground routes from www.explain.org. As an example, we can download CYYC. I've already done that. Here, now extract the downloaded archive. And then move these folders, airport operations, into world traffic folder here. And arrival and departure goes into ground routes here. And route files goes into the world traffic folder here. Now let's check that CYYC is present in the folders. You can see it here. And here. Here. And here. So now CYYC has been successfully installed and uh, the next thing is just to secure that the region is uh, enabled like shown before. The next thing we are going to talk about is random route generation. Go into world traffic airport definition. Here you can add a new airport or you can edit an existing airport. I've already added EKCH, which as an example, I'm going to show you by pressing edit selected airport. A new window has been opened uh, with lots of things to define. Among others, civil traffic percentage, military traffic percentage, and uh, the percentage of fighters, super heavy, heavy, etc. Then we're going to tell World Traffic which airports uh, EKCH is connecting to, and I've already added all these airports uh, here and then we are going to tell world traffic which airliners operate in this airport. I've already added as you can see lots of different airliners Scandinavian Airlines, Finnair, EasyJet etc. Then we can define how many flights per day each airline has. It can be changed by entering a number here and then press set 
let's check here. As you can see, two flights per day. Let's set it to one. And then you can change the percentage of the total traffic in different time spaces. Press generate random flight plans. This takes a while. And uh, after watch, you can see the different route files in the classic Jet Sim Utils World Traffic Route Files uh, folder. In our case, a new folder has been added VKCH underline random. Thank you for watching this quick start guide of uh, World Traffic 2. Feel free to comment uh, and uh, please hit that like button.